The Arc Chaser is a lightweight handheld graphical TDR that uses spread spectrum TDR technology that gives it the ability of testing on unenergized or energized cables up to 600 volts. You can set up, test, save, and export all test results. Let's see how the Arc Chaser works. The home screen has six icons, fault location, live IFD, tone, system settings, file manager, and USB for file transfers. Let's go to fault location mode. Fault location is a static test. First off, let's go to test setup. Here we can have all the settings for conducting a test, uh, like leader cable, cable type, and then uh, selecting your velocity of propagation. Then select save. Now you press the green button to run a test. And you see that it says 499.8 feet to an open. And let's select the graph view. Now from graph view, we can select full screen. And we can zoom in or zoom out on the waveform. And hit the back button to go back to the previous screen. And to save a test, we select the PDF icon and name our file name. Then select OK. And this will create a PDF file. Now let's go to Live IFD. IFD stands for Intermittent Fault Detection. Uh, this is a dynamic monitoring test. Let's go to the test setup. In test setup, well again, we're going to just set up all the parameters to start our test. Uh, leader cable, cable type, estimated test length. This is to determine the right frequency for the test. So this cable is 1,000 feet. Then we will select our velocity of propagation and select save. To start the test, just press the start icon or the green button again. And our test has started and you can see the time of the test up in the elapsed time section. Now we can see our first fault. We have 520 feet to an open. We have one fault so far. Two, three, and you can see the primary fault, secondary fault, total fault. And we can look at graph view. In here, you can see the little tickers indicate um, how many faults in a certain location happen and at what distance they happen. Now we'll go to current view. And summary view. Here lapse time is 1 minute 30 seconds. Primary fault, secondary fault, total faults. And we'll stop the test. Now we'll go to more options to make a, a save of this test. We have we can choose either PDF or CSV. We'll select CSV. Again, now we'll name the file. Select OK, and now it's saving the CSV file and you can use this file in an Excel spreadsheet.
Thanks for checking out the Arc Chaser video. For more information, go to t3innovation.com. Thank you.